America, land of freedom. It was found in 1492 by many group of explorers who decided to search for a better route to go to India. Many explorers took their chances and traveled to America, the New World. But we are going to focus on one in particular, one of the best known explorers that came as pioneer to this uncharted land. But who was he? Where does he come from? What did he encounter in his travels? Well, let's wait no more. This is Jacques Cartier. Jacques Cartier was born in the year 1491, near the northwest of France in a city called Saint Malo, Brittany. He was the first European to describe and map the Gulf of Saint Lawrence and the shores of the Saint Lawrence River. As a 13-year-old boy, he decided he wanted to become a sailor, and that is when he began working as a cabin boy. Some years later, he started studying navigation in Dieppe. When he finished his studies at the age of 29, he got married to Mary Catherine de Garch, which helped improve his social status. And at the age of 43, in 1534, he received a very important duty from the King Francis I to look for a northwest passage to Asia. And that is how Jacques Cartier's historic travels began. Little did he know, he was off to make a discovery that would not only change the culture and history, of what we now know as Canada. On April 20, 1534, with two ships and 61 men, he was off to his friend Voyage. It took him and his men 20 days to reach Strait Bell Island, from where they reached Gaspar Peninsula and claimed it for France. In that land, his first encounter with the Mi'kmaq, which were natives from there, took place. They celebrated their meeting and started exchanging items. That is when they realized the natives were friendly and willing to trade. Then they met another tribe, called the Yorkies. Their chief Don Okana told Cartier that there was metal, gold, silver, diamonds, and other precious stones in the north. He visited these lands with the chief and his two sons, who got to travel to France so they could learn French and become Cartier's interpreters. In 1535, he traveled down the Saint Lawrence River for his second trip. He got to what is today Quebec. There he stayed for a long time, where a strange disease struck the French people and the native people. But only one was surviving after all these things that happened. It was Domagaya, the son of the sheep. He was drinking this strange kind of tea that its own way helped him. So he showed this tea to the French people and indeed they survived. So after this, the chief and Cartier travel again to France to show this discovery and prepare everything for the third trip. So what? The third voyage, in my opinion, was just a waste of time. For Cartier, it wasn't even the best trip, the best voyage, because uh, first of all, he was revoked from his charge. A friend of the king decided that he wanted to come in this expedition, so the king said that his friend should be in charge. Also, they had, they had problems with the Indians during this uh, expedition. Also, with the weather, they had some conflicts. Um, so that made them uh, had some trouble also with their mission which was a uh, search for uh, resources and uh, well, gold um, they found some uh, crystals and they brought them uh, to France um, but they had the problem uh, that they didn't notice that they were only quartz crystals and other metals that were useless so that's when the king decided that that was going to be the last uh, trip from Cartier. So that was the end of him. Later on, he died during this uh, disease that came along, like uh, the plague in France. Uh, and well, that's the end of the story for Cartier. Thank you.